Here at places like Sewell's Point, flooding is still an issue. As for how this flooding got here, well, people tell me they're now glad it's just a memory. I was looking for something to do. Yeah, I've been waiting around for three days. I'm ready to get back normal and go back to work. Flooded roadways are talk of them, more than enough to keep people in the Treasure Coast indoors after the last bands of Dorian moved out. In Stewart, Rob Brewster, manager for Stormtrooper Home Repair, led a team of six employees removing hurricane shutters from windows and doors from businesses as early as 7 a.m. Post Storm Brewster said his company booked at least a dozen appointments for shutters and sandbags within a couple hours of the storm's notification in Martin, St. Lucie, and Palm Beach counties. And like clockwork, now that the storm has passed, businesses who book those same appointments are ready to get back to their own business. It's amazing the, the coverage that you guys do and the storm track and all that stuff does help, but it's just, just a waiting game with most hurricanes and I think we're all ready just to do something. And things still here in Martin County aren't 100% back to normal, as he would lead you to believe. County offices don't open until tomorrow, and then we have parks and beaches, which don't reopen until the water is reassessed. Reporting live, Arthur Mondale, WPTV, News Channel 5.